Steve Carell had reservations about returning as Michael Scott in the season finale of The Office. Details regarding his cameo were laid out by the sitcom stars, Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey, during a recent episode of their Office Ladies podcast, via CinemaBlend. Michael's screen time in season 9, episode 23, finale, was fairly minimal due to the requirements stipulated by Carell for his return. Thankfully, this gave a wide berth to putting Michael in the spotlight, so that the writers could give The Office's main characters a perfect ending. The Office series finale premiered in 2013. The episode centered around the long-awaited wedding between Dwight Schrute, Rain Wilson, and Angela Martin, Kinsey, which happened to be the ideal route into Michael's natural return. Carell appears in two scenes in the concluding episode, including the memorable moment Jim, John Krasinski, surprises Dwight with Michael's presence. After nine seasons of success, the finale was a wonderful addition to seamlessly wrap up its main cast story but also granted Michael the perfect ending in The Office. Michael Scott having a bigger role in The Office's finale would have ruined it. Michael's heavy involvement in the finale would have diminished what The Office worked to achieve. The series' writers planned a far bigger role for the former branch manager, including an alternative ending that wanted to introduce Michael's children in The Office's finale. There were plenty of unanswered questions following Michael's departure, such as what his life in Colorado with Holly, Amy Ryan, might look like. That being said, keeping the bulk of Michael's life private was a far better decision for the series. Michael's outward desperation for love drove him to some rather embarrassing lengths, so his quiet contentedness speaks volumes to how happy he ended up being. In addition to this, the reason behind Carell not wanting to return for the office finale correctly summarizes the risk of Michael taking precedence over the resuming cast. Carell didn't want to detract from the farewell to the long-serving cast members. Fisher, the actress who played former receptionist Pam Beasley, explained, via Office Ladies Steve Carell's exit from the office meant that the show had two finales. A finale in both The Office season 7 and 9 meant each character had their respective moment. Carell's role in The Office is what defined the show, and it's hard to deny that Michael Scott has had a permanent impression on the entire sitcom genre. His exit from the series was incredibly decisive among audiences, meaning that the conclusion of season 7 feels like a finale in its own right. The momentous farewell from The Office's cast is a testament to how adored Michael came to be. Michael was an unwavering supporter of his colleagues, so the final 9,986,000 minutes surprise was the perfect send-off for his beloved character. It's important to acknowledge that The Office did struggle to maintain its momentum once Michael left, but it made a swift recovery by redirecting its focus to the show's new leads. Jim and Pam became a fundamental part of the remaining storylines, as did Andy Bernard, Ed Helms. Seasons 8 and 9 demanded far more testing situations to convince its viewership to remain interested, and the legacy character's larger presence was the key to achieving this. The result was several open-ended situations, but these were neatly tied together in one impressive conclusion at the end of season 9.